American Business Law Attorney here going live. Let me fix my screen here. There we go. Going live as I do every weekday to talk about trademarks and business law. Today I have a case study. I was in Seattle last weekend and I was with a friend in a guitar shop and I saw something that caught my eye. Let me see if I can find it here. It is the trademark for oops the trademark for an amplifier and i want to show you the actual the actual photo here let me open that up switch screens okay so there was an amp and here's a picture of the amp on the left I can't find the picture <laughs> in my computer folders and I don't want to belabor the point. But anyway, there was a picture of an amp and the amp was orange and it had a trademark for the word orange on it. So, oh, here it is actually. Let me get this up for you. There it is. There's the orange amp right there in all of its glory. Let me. Let me close that out. Anyway, I took a picture of it because I thought, well, that would make a very good example for a trademark video. So uh, let's talk about this. Here I am again. Now, one of the most common questions that I get is, Angela, how can ordinary words serve as trademarks? Well, let me remind you that anything anything that distinguishes your goods and services from another company's goods and services can serve as a trademark, including ordinary words. And then the most common response that I get is, but Angela, if we allow somebody to register the word orange as a trademark, doesn't it mean that it prevents everybody else from uttering the word orange? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> This is because a trademark is a source identifier and there can be many instances, orange being one of them, where people register trademarks for ordinary words. Let's think of another fruit trademark. How about Apple, <laughs> right? We all know Apple for computers. Well, it just so happens that the orange people have a registration for orange on amplifiers and speakers. Let's have a look. Let me switch screens again and uh, move this out of the way here. And let me show you, this is the trademark registry and there are actually 34 records for registrations for orange as a trademark. So you can see here, there are, let me just go to the right place here. There are all kinds of registrations for orange, including record number 34, which is orange <laughs> for amplifiers. You can see orange right here, right? They have applied their mark, their orange logo mark to amplifiers. Now, they weren't required to make any sort of disclaimer for orange because they're not using orange descriptively. Yes, it's true that their amplifier is orange, but they're not claiming the color orange as a trademark. They're merely claiming the word orange as a trademark. So what can't you use orange on? Let's talk about that for a minute. Now, recall that trademarks have to be non-descriptive and non-generic. So what does this mean? It means you cannot use orange on oranges, okay? So if you are a fruit seller and you are selling oranges, you are not permitted to register a trademark or claim as a trademark or enforce your rights to a trademark for the word orange or oranges for your oranges. This is because if we grant you trademark rights to use the word orange in conjunction with the selling or offer for sale of oranges, then we are necessarily preventing other people 
from using oranges to fairly describe their oranges, right? <laughs> so just like if you had an apple cart, you cannot register a trademark for the word apple for your apples. This is because it would prevent other people from describing their apple cart, right? If we give you the exclusive right and a trademark is the exclusive right to use a certain uh, source identifier, word, slogan, uh, slogan, logo in conjunction with certain goods this or the offer for sale of certain goods. So we can't give someone, it's called a generic trademark that merely is the word for the goods that are covered by the trademark that is not permissible under the trademark law. Now, barring that, yes, you can use a word like orange for any goods except for oranges or anything related to oranges, okay? Because a good that is oranges or related to orange is, or oranges, is descriptive or generic as to the word orange. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion. I'm Angela Lang Lotz, and you can find me live here on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching this, every weekday to talk about trademark law. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net and if you like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash trademark doctor, you'll be notified every time I go live. If you like this video, please share it. Others may benefit. I'll see you tomorrow.